middleweight boxer Bernard Hopkins has caused a stir by implying that Donovan McNabb is not black enough. <laughs> the two men have decided to settle their differences with an old-fashioned game of who cannot catch a cab. <laughs> and now a correction to a story we ran last week. Prince Charles is actually the one in the middle. So we, we apologize for that. In game one of the Western Conference Finals between the Mavericks and the Thunder, Magic Johnson said that Dirk Nowitzki is playing like he has three legs, which is a nice way of saying he's playing like a black guy. Fish chose his victims. He only chose victims who were either mentally handicapped now, don't laugh at this next part, please. But you know he wants you to, right? No. If you laugh at this next part. Okay. And I'm not this shows victims who are either mentally handicapped or African American. Oh, come on. Why would you think that's funny? God damn, Fred. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That was the worst part of the story. In the Denver courtroom this week, he's being sued by a woman who claims the pop star stole her song, Dangerous. Here with a comment is update correspondent Norm MacDonald. Norm? This 40-year-old woman claims that Michael stole her song. Now ask yourself, where would Michael Jackson come into contact with a 40-year-old woman? <laughs> he hangs out with young boys. He's a child molester, for God's sakes. <laughs> In Colorado this week, Bob Dole warned that if Pat Buchanan is the Republican nominee, the party might lose both the presidency and control of Congress. In response, Buchanan warned that if anyone other than himself becomes president, blacks will retain the right to vote. <laughs> In the wake of the verdict, angry Menendez defense attorney Leslie Abramson said the jury simply chose not to believe the brother's excuse that they had been sexually abused by their father and says she knows why. Quote, it's because my clients are black. <laughs> President Obama is a phenomenal player at basketball for a president of the United States. But I think he's just mediocre for a black guy. In Nashua, New Hampshire this week, a high school student, Chris Conley, while attempting to dunk a basketball, lost his balance, crashed down on the rim, and shattered two front teeth. Gee, I wonder if by some crazy chance Chris is uh, white. <laughs> One time I was hosting, and there was three guys. I've never hosted. Just, How many times have you hosted? Just one time. It was a mistake. <laughs> three uh, uh, guys doing music, you know? Yeah. So, uh, so who'd they have on? Very hip So they had, they had hip guys that I should, everyone else knew except me. It was Snoop Dogg. He yeah. just changed his name, and he was angry because I kept getting it wrong. Mm -hmm. It used to be Snoop Doggy Dogg. It was Snoop Dogg and Eminem and Dr. Dre. That's so a pretty me, heavy lineup. Yeah, though. but to me, it was two black guys and a white guy. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I go to introduce them. <laughs> they were all standing under. They were all standing like in in. I'm rap. Out there was Francis Farmer. They, they were, were about to go up and take me with him. <laughs> they were standing in uh, rap positions, as you know, like <laughs> like like against. And yeah. I'm about to introduce them. So they're standing in that rap position where yeah. it looks like they'll either start singing rap or pull a gun and, sh and kill you. <laughs> so, uh, so then I go, as a joke, I look at them, because I remember this is kind of a letterman thing to do, but I go, fellas, are you ready? Are you ready? <laughs> Which forces them to go like, <laughs> like uh, sh Break shake their heads head slightly. <laughs> 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 Even though they're in this crazy, dangerous <laughs> mood. I'm posed up. <laughs> I'm posed up. So I thought that was funny. But uh, then I learned later they were geniuses, and I should have befriended them. <laughs> I was just talking to Dre backstage. I don't know if he's a real doctor, but he did prescribe me some stuff. So I don't know. Okay, folks, before we continue, I have an announcement from the management. Would the owner of a Glock 9 with the inscription, Too Puffy with Love, please pick up your gun. It's at the hospitality suite. Well, let's get to O.J. O.J. Simpson's lawyers say they don't want the families of Nicole Brown and Ronald Goldman in the courtroom during the trial. They're afraid the presence of the family members will just remind O.J. of how much more killing he still has to do. <laughs> this 
week as America marked the 50th anniversary of Jackie Robinson's entry into Major League Baseball, there was a sobering reminder that racial prejudice in sports is not yet a thing of the past. In a shocking move, today, all but one of the 125 playing members of the Professional Golf Association has signed a petition to ban African-American golfers from the tour. <laughs> 130 years after the Civil War, the state of Mississippi has finally voted to abolish slavery. Representatives say they would have liked to have done it sooner, but uh, they were delayed due to some awfully big cotton crops. They had to, had some, some kind of big cotton thing. All right. Eyes wide open, got my mind all over, and I don't want it to end, no. And when we're older, we pretend we're sober, so I'm living it out, feeling so high. You served time in prison, didn't you? Good, bring that up. <laughs> <laughs> you almost, wow, almost, almost got, got out of here with that. Yes, I did. What about it? For something about 650 grams of cocaine you were found with or Jesus, something? Jesus, yes. <laughs> I would, that sounds like enough to kill a Wow. Did you ever hear, I was wondering about this, like in prison, did you ever hear somebody's, like, I don't know, maybe you just heard somebody at some point go, uh, hey there, Mr. Candyman. What the fuck? <laughs> that was a long way hey to there, go for that. Mr. Kenny, man. No, man. How no, about no. I have some of that cocaine? <laughs> like, were you expected, in other words, to get cocaine? No, for I was not. I was not expected to do that. And I'm really happy that you brought that up. Oh, I'm sorry. No, it was good. It was really good. Hey, Mr. Kenny, man. Hey, 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 Mr. Kenny, man. <laughs> it never actually... But did they call you Kenny, Mr. No. Kenny? No. <laughs> you just learned to pick soap up with your feet. That's all, right. all that I learned. <laughs> Why don't you bring me a big rock candy mountain? Last night, the epic disaster film Twister opened to big box office and some controversy. The Reverend Jesse Jackson has called for a boycott of the movie, claiming that not enough black people in the film are killed by tornadoes. <laughs> President Clinton was in Austin, Texas last Monday, the day of the Million Man March. The president said in a speech, I'm here to speak to you today because right now in Washington, D.C., there's like a million black guys. <laughs> Show Oklahoma City's second round NBA playoffs. Great dunk from Westbrook, though I'd be more impressed if he weren't young and black. Moscow Roy Jones Jr. is down. Boring. If I wanted to see an old black guy get punched in the face, I'd look out my window. <laughs> Eastern Conference Final in Miami, and LeBron crushes Kyle Cover in transition. Always shocking when a black guy running forward is faster than a white guy running backwards. Meanwhile, Furman, who was expected to face disciplinary action by the LAPD, may get off lightly. Under the terms of a controversial plea bargain, the charges against him have been reduced to, quote, one count of using the word darky. <laughs>